WooCommerce versus Wix. Which one is better for building the e-commerce business? Well, that's what I'm gonna be looking at in this video by checking out the pros and cons of both platforms before giving my conclusion at the end of the video. But make sure you stick around and watch through all the pros and cons so you get a good feeling of what these two platforms offer. But before we get to the pros and cons, let's look at the platforms themselves. WooCommerce is basically the official plugin for the WordPress CMS because it's owned and run by the same company that owns and runs WordPress, which is automatic. Now WooCommerce is available for both the hosted WordPress.com sites and also the self-hosted WordPress.org sites. But for this video, we're just gonna be looking at the self-hosted option because it is the most popular option when it comes to using WooCommerce. Whereas Wix, on the other hand, is the world's largest hosted website builder. And understandably, at some point, they was going to get into the world of e-commerce, which they did a few years ago with the introduction of the Wix Stores app. Now, if you do want to use the Wix Stores app, you are going to have to be on a certain plan, which is one of their business or commerce plans, which I'll talk about a bit later on in this video. But that is the two platforms. So let's look at the pros of WooCommerce. And the first one is it's completely free to use. Both the WordPress CMS and the WooCommerce plugin are completely free to use for self-hosted WordPress sites. But you are gonna have to pay for hosting, which is something that's gonna be a cost associated with any website, but the actual software is completely free to use. Now, the second pro of WooCommerce is there's a massive amount of plugins and themes that you can use with WooCommerce. There's a massive amount of free options, but there's also a massive amount of paid and premium options as well. And this leads into pro number three, which is the flexibility that comes with WooCommerce. Because the basic WooCommerce plugin is pretty basic, but it can be used as the base for so many different types of e-commerce websites. You can use it for things like typical B2C e-commerce, which is traditional e-commerce. You can use it for B2B, you can build catalog websites, you can build subscription sites, membership sites. You can even build multi-vendor marketplaces using WooCommerce as a base. The flexibility of the plugin is incredible and down to the amount of the amazing developers out there, the options are nearly unlimited as to what you can do with WooCommerce. So the fourth pro of WooCommerce is the amount of online resources that are out there to help you get up and running with WooCommerce. This is because it's an incredibly popular option when it comes to building e-commerce websites. In fact, there's over 5 million active installations of the WooCommerce plugin going at any one time, which is a mind-blowing amount of people using the plugin. And what this means is people have created lots of online guides and tutorials to help you get up and running. People like myself have created them and many other YouTubers, bloggers, and numerous other people out there have created online resources to help you get up and running. And the community is massive. There's lots of places where you can go and ask questions to get help with the plugin. And the final pro for this video of WooCommerce is you own the site. Because it's self-hosted, you've built it, it belongs to you. And what this means is you can up and move to a new host if you're not happy with the hosting environment you're currently using. And this gives you a lot of control over your website. You control the direction of it. You're not beholden to any particular platform or hosting company. It's up to you what you do with your site, which can be incredibly liberating when it comes to running an e-commerce website. But what about the cons of WooCommerce? Well, the first one is there's more responsibility on you as the website owner. This is because it's a self-hosted website, so it's completely your responsibility. Now, your web host is responsible for making sure that your servers are secure, but when it comes to your actual website, so the front end of your site, it's your responsibility. So you've got to make sure it's secure, which is incredibly important when it comes to e-commerce. You're also responsible for the performance and optimization, so making sure that it loads quickly and it performs well on all different devices devices. And finally, you're responsible for the maintenance of the site. So making sure that it keeps working, make sure that it's updated and making sure that it just works as you want it to. And this very much leads into the second con, which is WooCommerce has a much steeper learning curve than using a hosted platform. This is because of all the things I just mentioned that you're going to have to learn about and you're going to have to make sure that it's all working properly. It is a much steeper learning curve and especially when you're having to learn how to build websites and also having to run an e-commerce business as well. It does take a lot of your time and you can end up actually wasting a lot of the time working on your website rather than actually running the business aspects of it. 
Now the previous two cons very much lead into the third one, which is there can be reliability issues with a WooCommerce site. And I know this from personal experience because I had a WooCommerce site for over two years. And the reason for this is WordPress and WooCommerce require plugins. If you want any kind of features or functionality, you're gonna have to install additional plugins. And what happens is when there's updates, especially major updates to things like WordPress or WooCommerce, it takes a while for all these plugin developers to update their plugins. So you're gonna have to do a lot of prep and preparation to make sure that your site updates properly and when you do the updates that everything is working as it should because it's very easy for there to be conflicts between plugins or plugins and themes that can cause your site to break and there's things you may not even be aware of things not working in your checkout properly unless you actually go through and test every so often so reliability can be an issue with WooCommerce and it's something that you do need to be aware of so the final WooCommerce con in this video is there's no direct support available from the guys at WooCommerce, which is kind of understandable. It's a free open source plugin. But what this means is you are on your own should anything go wrong, as I just mentioned in the reliability section. Now, if you do purchase a premium plugin or theme from the guys at WooCommerce, you will get support around that theme or plugin. And this generally goes for any premium plugin or theme that you buy. But when it comes to your general website, if things go wrong with that, it's down to you to sort it out. There's nobody you can just call to try and get things figured out, which is something that you do want to think about and consider when it comes to choosing which platform you're going to use to build your e-commerce website. Now, before I get onto the pros and cons of Wix, I do just want to let you know that there is a full written comparison available for these two platforms available on my website, e-commerce gold. And I will leave a link to that in the description below. So if you want to see more information about features and what they're like to use, go and check out my full written comparison because it does cover things in way more detail than what I'm going to do in this video. Because if I went through everything in this video, I'd be here forever and a day. So I just wanted to let you know that there is a full comparison available if you want to learn more about either of these two platforms. So let's look at the pros of the Wix platform. The first one is it's much easier for new users. This is because it's got a much shallower learning curve because you don't have to worry about any of the technical aspects of running your website. Things like performance, optimization, and general maintenance is all taken care of by the Wix platform. You don't have to worry about anything relating to the hosting. You just have to worry about building your website, making sure it looks nice, and then listing your products and then getting some sales. This leads to a much shallower learning curve and it also leads into the second pro as well, which is it generally makes Wix a more reliable option. Because they take care of everything behind the scenes for you, it's generally a more reliable platform because things don't break as much as what they do with things like WooCommerce. So for new users, this just makes it a much more appealing option because they don't have to worry about being a web developer as well as owning an e-commerce business. Another pro of the Wix platform is you get support. And if you're an English speaking user, you get 24 seven support from the Wix team. But there is a con to that, and that is actually contacting the Wix support team. They haven't made it easy on their platform. And if you check out my full Wix review, I go through that in much more detail in the cons in that. But they have made it very difficult to contact the support team, but it is nice knowing that even though it's difficult, there is a support team you can contact should you run into any issues. Now, the next pro of the Wix platform is it comes with a really good selection of features as standard. It's basically good to go for a traditional B2C e-commerce website from the get-go. Now this is completely different to WooCommerce where you basically need to install a core selection of plugins to get the basic functionality to where you need. Wix comes pretty sorted from the get-go. Now if you do need specific functionality for your site, there's a good selection of apps relating to the Wix Stores app that you can install that's going to add that specific functionality that you need. Specific is a really difficult word to say in a video. But back on track, it does come with a really good selection of features as standard. And this means for B2C e-commerce websites, it's good to go from the time you sign up and install the Wix Stores app. The next pro of the Wix platform is it's reasonably priced for a fully hosted e-commerce platform. Now it might seem expensive when you compare it to WooCommerce and WooCommerce hosting costs, but when you compare it to other hosted e-commerce platforms, Wix is considerably cheaper with their top package coming in at less than $60 a month. Now they do have an enterprise package, which is $500 a month, but for most people, they're just gonna be looking at the basic packages. Now the packages that I'm gonna be showing on screen now are the prices if you pay monthly. If you're actually you go on the Wix website, you'll see slightly different prices advertised. This is because these are the prices if you pay for that package annually. But the prices I've listed are what you pay if you pay on a monthly basis. So just be aware of that. But generally the pricing of the Wix platform is very reasonable. 
And the final pro for Wix on this video is there's a really good selection of themes available and the theme customization is also very good because there's two theme customizers you can use, but I would recommend if you're going to use Wix, use the ADI theme customizer because it's just way easier to use than the advanced editor. But it does come with a really good selection of options and say so there's a really good selection of themes available as well. So let's look at the cons of the Wix platform. And the first one is there seems to be some issues with the hosting environment that Wix uses for its website. Now I couldn't actually find that much information about the hosting environment because for some reason Wix aren't open and transparent with all of their information, which is another con of the Wix platform. But when it comes to the hosting environment, there does seem to be some issues because I put every hosted e-commerce platform through a series of tests and Wix was consistently bottom of all the testing. When it comes to load time, it's much slower than other platforms. And when it comes to Google PageSpeed Insights, there's definitely some issues, especially on mobile devices. And this is something you do want to think about when you're building the e-commerce website, because you want to make sure that it's fast and it works well on all mobile devices, which does seem to be an issue with the Wix platform. Now, the second con of Wix, and something that I seem to be on my own about is, I don't think Wix is particularly easy to use. I actually find it quite difficult. And of all the e-commerce platforms I've tested, and I've tested a lot of them, Wix is the only one that I seem to spend a lot of time in the help center or Googling things on how to do things with Wix. It's not a particularly intuitive platform to use for me, and I just don't think it's particularly easy to use in general. The dashboard is quite cramped. There's two theme editors that you need to learn about. When it comes to installing apps, it's not a straightforward process. I just don't think it's particularly easy to use on a day-to-day -day basis. While it is easier to get up and running with than something like WooCommerce, on a day-to-day -day basis, I just don't think it's particularly easy to use. So the next con of Wix is you are tied to the platform. So if for some reason you've built your Wix website and you decide you want to move somewhere else, you're not happy with the service you're getting, you're going to have to go to a new platform and build a completely new website. You can't just up and move the site you've got like you can with WooCommerce if you're not happy with your host. And this can be a negative because moving platforms isn't the easiest thing to do. Trust me, I've been there. Now the final con for Wix in this video is I'm not sure how scalable the platform is. This is because from everything I've tested on the Wix platform, it seems okay for small e-commerce businesses, but things like bulk editors and just general day-to-day -day running, for me it would be quite difficult to run a large e-commerce business using the Wix platform. Now I know they do offer an enterprise package, but I'm not 100% sure what's included with that and what the major differences are between say the business VIP package and the enterprise package. But I say from my experience, I don't know how scalable the Wix platform is, and I'm not sure it'd be the option I would go for if I was considering building an e-commerce business that potentially could be massive in a few years time. Now, before I give my final thoughts on these two platforms, I do just have a quick request for you. And that is, if you found this video helpful, please smash that like button because it really does help the channel out with the almighty YouTube algorithm. So thank you if you do smash a like on it. Also consider subscribing for more e-commerce related content. So WooCommerce versus Wix, which one is the better option? This one's actually a pretty difficult one for me to decide because neither of these will be my go-to option for building an e-commerce website. I much prefer going for something that's designed from the ground up for e-commerce. So something like Shopify or BigCommerce is gonna be a much better all-round package to build an e-commerce website. But as this is just comparing these two platforms, here is my conclusion. If you are brand new to building an e-commerce website, Wix is going to be the easier option because the learning curve is much shallower and they take care of all the technical aspects for you. And you can build a pretty good basic e-commerce website. But if you're more comfortable with the technical aspects and you want to make more than a basic B2C website, WooCommerce can be a good option just because it's so flexible. And say if you've got the technical knowledge, especially if you've got experience with WordPress, it can be a very good and very powerful option for building an e-commerce website. So for me, it does come down to your experience if you're new, Wix can be a lot easier to get started with. If you've got good technical experience, especially if you've got experience with WordPress, then WooCommerce would definitely be the option I would go for. So that is my conclusion of the two platforms. But as I say, I wouldn't go for either of these if I was planning to build an e-commerce website. Just my opinion. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Which one do you think is the better option? So thank you so much for watching guys. And as I said, if you found this video helpful, please drop a like on the video because it does help me out a lot. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really do appreciate it. Stay awesome. I'll see you in the next one.